Hey there, I'm Naomi Wu. I'm a hardware engineer and tech reviewer. One of the things I've been doing the last two years is reviewing masks and other science-based tools to fight the pandemic. Right now, I've got this can of spray paint. I'm going to touch up my e-bike in a minute. Do I wear surgical masks like this? No, of course not. The paint will get all in around the size of the mask and in my lungs. Everyone who knows anything about DIY knows you need a respirator when working with any kind of ever so basic stuff. Well, we now know for certain that COVID-19 is an ever so. That means we need masks that fit and the better they fit, the lower the viral load in the air we're breathing and the less chance we have of getting infected. Now I could use a disposable N95 like this for spray painting and those are much better than cloth or surgical masks. But frankly, that gets expensive, it gets wasteful, and the fit isn't as good. Rule number one is use the right tool for the job. And the right tool for dealing with aerosols of any kind, but particularly COVID-19, is an elastomeric N95 respirator like this one right here. This is my respirator of choice to protect myself, the Dantec Comfort Air NX. I have no business relationship with them, it's just what I use myself. It's American made and NIOSH and NIOSH certified. The one difference between this and what you get down at your local hardware store is it filters the air both ways, when you breathe in and when you breathe out. Because that protects other people. We've all done jobs with people who are dangerous and careless to work around, and we don't want to be that person. I like my dang tag because it's comfortable to wear, it's easy to breathe in, and people can still understand you pretty clearly. These are the filters, and they only need to be replaced four times a year. That's it, folks. Use the right tool for the job and wear the right protection. Sometimes that's steel toe shoes, sometimes that's an N95. You can get this one at shopdentechsafety.com. Work safe, everyone.